Stand by for an urgent bulletin. This is the Bob and Jeff Show, starring Bob Lutz. I can't wait till you get to this stage of your life where I am, and you are able to really examine things. It's going to be legend. Wait for it. And I hope you're not lactose intolerant because the second half of that word is dairy. Legendary. In Jason Duda. For today, anyway. Hey, enjoy it while you can. I've seen how this turns out. Yeah? Tell me about it, girl. 97.5 in 1240 KFH. I heartily endorse this event or product. Welcome back. Hour number two, the Bob and Jeff Show. KFH Radio, Bob Lutz, Jason Duda in today. For Jeff, we uh, just completed what I think was a superlative hour number one. Oh, it was pretty epic. And uh, now we have to try to top it. Uh, let's get into a little college basketball. What? The preseason AP poll came out today. What would you find out? Well, the the Big 12 is going to be incredible. It's you got Kansas is. at one, Houston at four, Iowa State at five, Baylor at eight, Arizona at ten. <laughs> uh, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, it is. And then a little farther down, you've got uh, Cincinnati. Uh, so you got that many teams that are ranked in the preseason. I'm a little surprised not to see Kansas State on there, but we'll see. We'll see what uh, they can pull off. Uh, but K- KU number one, Alabama number two, UConn three, then Houston, Iowa State, Gonzaga, Duke, Baylor, North Carolina, and Arizona. Now, I know you're not the biggest college basketball fan, but I love college basketball in November because of all the tournaments and right. and uh, interesting matchups. Uh, and I, and I obviously like college basketball. I like it when they get into the conference season. But we're starting that man. That baby's right around the corner. Doesn't that seem like everything's speeding up? Like there doesn't, it always, it feels like we just finished football and we're all of a sudden last year and we're six weeks into the next year. Just feels like we just finished basketball and all of a sudden basketball is going to be starting up again. It's crazy. You know, what's what's happened is television has taken over the sports world. So to get programming, uh, and this has been happening for quite some time, but to cover programming, you see Thursday night college games. When I mean they play all the time. You got college basketball playing every all over the place. Didn't used to start until December back in the day. Now it's early November, and you got to get all these tournaments in. They're all made for television, right? And uh, that's that's what fun, that's what helps fund college athletics. And let me tell you something. They're going to need the funding with all the players they got to pay now and all the uh, all the additional expenses. Uh, it's it like we talked with Gary Guzman about. It's crazy, but we sit here in our living rooms or our offices and we watch it. Well, that's true. I can't argue with that. I'd like to argue with that, but it's it's true because we're sports fans, and as long as we're sports fans, we're going to watch sports. We'll be able to put aside all the things we ne- may not necessarily love about it and enjoy the game for the time it's on. And then complain about it and after. Then when, and then when we sit here in our, uh, doing our radio show and there's no game on, then we tend to complain. <laughs> but, boy, the game comes on and we're not, hey, hey i gotta, I got to watch this game. Why is that? Why? Because we like the games. That's the beauty of everything, isn't it? Because you can be a sports person, so that's what you're into. You could be something else, and you're into whatever it is. Well, I've, that's I've been a thing. sports guy my entire. Well, so have I. So I mean, you, you now. But I, will I don't. Say I don't this. like when it makes sense. When you say something that makes sense, and then I think about it, and I'm like, yeah. That, well, yeah, you've had you're, to. You're right. You've certainly had practice hearing me make sense. I know. Uh, I mean. We're just hooked on it. Now, I will say this. As I've gotten older and I spent my career uh, covering sports, writing about sports, being immersed in sports, it's probably not quite at that level now. Like the other night, K-State, Colorado. 
I couldn't watch it for very long because I was tired. I had a long day Saturday. The game started at 9.15. I felt terrible. There was a day when, not uh, that long ago, when 9.15 was nothing. No, you weren't even ready to go out yet at no. 9.15. You couldn't, go, you couldn't go to the bar at 9.15. People would be like, what are you doing there so early? Right. Now I want to be in bed and sleeping by almost 9.15. On a Saturday night. It's pathetic. It's disgusting. But it was it's real. It is. I know it is. So I didn't see all that game. Yeah, I didn't make and it. And that was a must see game. I I mean that's I don't know, man. I turned it on and fell asleep like five minutes after I turned it on at about ten o'clock. Last night the NFL game didn't do much for me. The baseball game got out of hand, although it was fun watching Flaherty, I guess. Uh we watched an episode of Law and Order. I don't blame you. Because I was doing the same thing. I was watching the football game and the baseball game. And I got on my iPad as the games were on because neither one grabbed me. Makes sense? Yeah. There's things I want to watch on streaming channels. I want to watch The Penguin. I've heard nothing but good things about that. The Penguin? What's The Penguin? It's about it's a Batman thing. You know, The Penguin. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. I'm following Will you. Ferrell. Not Will Ferrell. No. What's, the, what's that guy? Oh, here we go again. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Uh, um, just wait. Give me four minutes and I'll find it. It's, it's just pathetic. It is. How you can't remember anything. Is that old age? <laughs> is that what it is? What is that guy's name? I don't know. I get him confused with Robert Downey Jr. all the time. And this guy's an incredible actor. Come on, man. I'm trying. Oh, for crying out loud. Am I going to have to? Oh, that's not it. I got the wrong one. Man. Good, good grief, man. Who's the? Uh, this is just awful. It's terrible. Just me. I'm almost there. No, I'm well, not. I'll get it right here. Well, you're. Colin Farrell. That's it. Will Farrell is not the. I should have. close. Colin Farrell. It's close. You were close. Who, uh, I hear he's just great in this. And uh, I'm looking forward to watching it. What's that streaming on? I think Netflix. Is it on Netflix? Or Max. No, it's Max. Is it? Yeah. I don't get Max. Can't watch it. Uh-oh. I get them all. Uh, my monthly bill is about 3000 Yeah. It's crazy. We've what am I just, doing? We've just had to say, look, we're only going to keep these. We're not adding. Because once you add one, then you're going to add another one. Then you're going to add another one. Then well, what one, one can you get rid of, though? I don't know. You always talk to yourself. I can get rid of Paramount. Pl Wait a minute. They got good shows on there. That's well, we we was talking the other day, and we're like, well, we'll get rid of Apple. So we got rid of Apple, and then we went to watch a show, and we're like, oh, the, man, that was on Apple. See? So uh, it's like, well, whatever. We'll get it later, and then when it, oh, the whole seasons are out, we'll watch. That's our theory. <laughs> well, I wish you luck with that. This streaming stuff's driving me nuts. But then we're hooked on sports, so we don't get to streaming that much. Yeah, At least but I don't. I should. Yeah, but not really. I, I get it. Well, I got them all. Well, yeah, but you do have them all. You do pay about three grand in cable then. Mm. I don't know what I'm doing. I think it'd be called irresponsible. Fortunately, my wife doesn't really, she does, she's not paying that much attention to what we spend on streaming stuff, so I kind of get away with it. Yeah. Well, this is good. And right now you're doing a kitchen remodel, so it really doesn't matter. No. I mean, you got lots of time <laughs> until you got to have that conversation. Oh, my goodness. Nuts. It's all money's money's nuts. just flying out of my house. Ah, right it's now. just crazy. Man. To be retired and just I said this light your some, cigarettes with hundred dollar bills must be must. Well, you be know, nice. a lot of people when they have a little extra money and I, listen, I saved money throughout my career. I'm not going to apologize for that. Well, you shouldn't. I didn't save a ton. No, but you still but, shouldn't. But when you have a little money, when you get to the, be this age, some people use it to travel. Well, fine, I think that's a great great thing. I just we just don't do a lot of that. Understandable. We're at home a lot, so why not? Make our home as comfortable as we can, right? Only, I mean, uh, actually, it only makes sense. Thank you. I'm making a lot of sense to you yeah, right now. Yeah, today is a really odd day because I'm 
literally reading your mail, and I'm understanding everything. You're reading my mail? Oh, I did, shouldn't have said that, I guess. <laughs> That's what Jeff does, remember? Yeah, well, he showed me how to get it and where it's all at and how to... Never mind. We'll get into that later. <laughs> yeah, good for you guys. Uh, how was the show Friday with you and Jeff? How was my friend Joe Auer? I booked him and then felt bad that I couldn't... Oh, uh... well, he mentioned that when he got on. Yeah, I felt bad. I love Joe. And... Uh, I wanted. I had some pertinent questions to ask him, but we'll get him on again. No, we had a great interview. Josie, great to talk to. We talked about uh, the shot clock. We talked about adding the games. Yeah, we that's what I wanted to ask him about. There's, we talked about a bunch of stuff. But then, you know, adding the games, I'm curious, when they add games like this, when they uh, inflate things, do coaches get paid more? That's My a, guess is mm, probably not. Yeah, maybe. So I don't know. I you know I, that that's the kind of stuff that interests me. Yeah, coaches want more time with their kids. They want to be in the summer. Blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Do you get paid more? I don't know. I, you can't. I can't answer that question. I don't know the. Answer. I'd like to know that. Well, next time you get Joe on, you ask ask him that. If he's making a whole bunch more money now. I so doubt. He'd love to discuss that with you over the air. Yeah, he might. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. My interest, when it comes to the high school game, which I go to some games now, obviously with Mays, and I know some kids, I'm curious to see how the shot clock is going to pan out. I think I'm going to like it more. I well, really I don't do. like. I don't like uh, holding the ball, and no. I don't like uh, being able to, you know, milk a lead. And uh, that's not basketball in 2024. Uh, basketball's changed. It's time for high school to change with the times because the way you play basketball, and it's been this way for many years now, you play with a shot clock. Uh, part of your offense's structure is to be able to figure out a way to get a good shot in a lot of amount of time instead of, oh, we didn't get that. The offense didn't work. Let's set up again and try it again. Yes. Nope. You got to get a shot off. No, and that's one of the thirty-five th seconds. I think is what the shot clock's going to be. That's still too long. Yeah, but it's better than it's better not. than the alternative. But what I don't what I don't like about it, and I I actually I think I asked Joe. I'm like, why are they going to do it during the regular season, and then you're going to have to recoach these kids ridiculous. in the playoffs? Like, just run it through the year. Utterly and if you ridiculous. If you don't like it, then take it out. But what you, was his answer? Well, it was basically, yeah, he's like, and I'm going to paraphrase, and if I get a little bit wrong, Joe, I apologize, but I think what he was getting at was it just doesn't make much sense that we're going to coach for the season, then going to have to re- It doesn't make any sense. We're going to have to re-coach these kids for the playoffs because it's going to be a different style, and that's not that's not fair to the coaches, kids, or anybody. Of course it's not. So why would they do, why would Keisha decide, okay, we'll do it in the regular season, but in the playoffs, we'll I don't know. We'll have to get was. Kayshawn to ask him. Like, just keep it through the year, and if it doesn't work, then scrap it the next the next year. That's the one thing I don't I don't like about. I don't like that. But like Joe said, any progress is good progress. I don't like it. Well, I agree, and we we can say we don't like it because we don't really have to deal with it. All right, let me uh, put out a personal plea for League Forty Two. We're in need of coaches, as we are every year. This isn't unusual. When you have this many teams and this many kids, finding folks who will volunteer their time to come out and coach them, mentor them, help them, be their buddy, whatever it is, uh, we have needs. If you are interested in helping us in League 42, please reach out to me at league42wichita at gmail.com. I'll uh, give you all the details and tell you how this works. Saturday during registration, and we signed up 196 kids in four hours Saturday. Uh, I had, I had three, three or four parents volunteer to be a head t-ball coach. Perfect. How about that? That's good. That's a big deal. Yeah, it is. So thank you to those folks. So coaches, always in need, reach out to me. We'll make it happen. We'll take a break here on the Bob and Jeff Show. Uh, Jeff on his way back from Denver. We expect him to be back on the show tomorrow before he flies out to Las Vegas. <laughs> what Coming a life. up later in the week. What a life that kid has.
Duda will be back here with me on Thursday. So that's kind of the setup for the week. We'll be back. This is the Bob and Jeff Show. Dodgers-Mets underway in L.A., Game 2 of the National League Championship Series. And the Mets have gone out to an early one nothing lead with a run on the top of the first. So congratulations to the New York Mets, who lead. And finally, somebody scored, scored. against the Dodgers. It's it. Here it goes. Here it goes right now. It's over. <laughs> it's over. It's over? It's over. Dodgers. You think they'll implode now? Yep. Yeah, they're not going to. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be like, it's, it'll be ugly. Ugly, ugly. That's how I see this going from here on out. Well, I don't know and about I'm it. pretty smart. Hmm. Yeah. It's okay. You can say it. I know it hurts for you There's to say it. There's moments but... when you make sense. And by the way, thanks to whomever texted me the name of Colin Farrell. I appreciate that. Sometimes. Uh, an old guy needs a little assistance. Well, that's true. And uh, I don't take exception to that. You shouldn't. There was a time when I would have lambasted this person. That's that's also true. For trying to help me. Heaven forbid someone should lend a helping hand to Mr. Bob. Because I got it covered. Lead off home run, by the way, for Francisco Lindor. See, it ended that quick. <clears throat> there you go. That quick. Told you. Love watching happen. postseason baseball. Absolutely love it. Um, although last night's game wasn't scintillating, but when it is, no, it there's wasn't. nothing better. Because you're hanging on every pitch. Uh, it's just fun. So is that the plan? You're watching the Cleveland game tonight? Is oh, absolutely. No question about Ordering it. Ordering in. You know, go pick up something. Well, I don't know why we you don't become, make anything in your kitchen. We can't. <laughs> Uh, our, re our refrigerator still in our living room. Although David, our, our contractor tells us that will be rectified very soon. Oh, there you go. The refrigerator will be back in its rightful place in the kitchen. Sweet. Look at that. Floors are going to be laid this week. Uh, cabinets are going to be, uh, finalized. Paint is happening where they're painting right now. Uh, trim. Working on that outside, as you saw coming I in. I did. I had to park down the street. I wasn't <laughs> happy about that, but it's all right. Don't worry about it. So I'm very excited about it. That's good. Where are you ordering in from? Uh, I don't know yet. You know, I, I'm, I, I wish Barnard's was closer. Yeah, I know. Well, it's not bad for me. It's just take a right. Yeah, you just go down the street. Yeah, I, I'm okay with it. Barnard's is fine where it's at, according to me. I know you don't care. It takes a little while to get out the maze road for me. Uh, yeah, I, I mean it's not would. bad, but it's not great. No, it's not. It's not in a great spot for you, which is disappointing for you. I suppose I could get over here on. Uh, I haven't tried that. I suppose I could get on. On uh, ninety six, but then it's a long way coming back to the south to get there, right? It is. But I love the barbecue sandwich. And uh, one of the one of our favorites now is Doc Greens. Doc Greens is good. They have a ranchero salad that I just love. Yeah, we've pick, we we pick up from there. But we're in a spot too where it's a lot, everything's a little closer. Yeah, you're right there on Mays Road. Yeah, which is kind of nice. When it yeah, comes you to you know you live in the upper uh, the upscale neighborhood. Well, yeah, a little bit. I'm trying to make it happen here. Well, you're doing okay. I mean, you you'll get there sooner or later. We don't have the kind of the kind of money that we can move to a place that has a a, a gate and a guard and those kinds of things. True, We're, true. But I mean, you got enough to redo your whole I'll house. You, I'll so. tell you one thing that we do have, which caught us kind of by surprise. We wondered why. All these orange cones were being placed around. Yeah. Uh, they've been here for 10 days, two weeks. And we thought, well, are they going to do road work here? What, what's what's happening? Well, yesterday, the Prairie Fire Marathon, part of that was 
right over in our area, and in fact, they ran down our street. Right out here? Right out here. Come on. We never had that before. Oh, big wheeling it for sure. That's it. That was cool. Now, I wasn't here for a lot of it, but Debbie said uh, some of our neighbors set up their lawn chairs and cheered as the runners went by, and that's kind of cool. That would have been a great afternoon for you. Now, great we couldn't morning. get out of our neighborhood. No, you're probably locked in. <laughs> Which nobody told us. <laughs> I mean, let us know. <laughs> What if we'd have had to go somewhere? Well, you wouldn't have been able to. Well, that's not right. Well, but it's just the way it, it was going to work out for you. It's a good thing that you didn't want to get out and you're a homebody. You need to talk to somebody about I that. Would, I would think you should. I would think you should. Is that going to be a standard deal now? Yeah, every year. Or are they going to move it around? Every year. No, I think they're going to keep you it. Don't you don't know. Just to keep you in the dark. Well, I'm going to go Keep you from getting out before. one day. I think Before that's a city it. Uh, council meeting. I like it. I think that's fantastic. My goodness. What are we supposed to do, people? What if you need to eat? Because you, you got nothing here. You don't have a kitchen. No, we don't. Uh, we, uh, try, we're trying to, you know, not eat very much. <laughs> that's one of the things. That's one of the plans. I usually go get my wife a biscuit and coffee for breakfast. Nice. And she has to sometimes drive to her job in Wellington. Uh, and then at, in the evening, um, I'm going to tell you right now, the Barnards is speaking to me unless I go to Leakers. Oh, you, are you back on the, the Leakers dis- train? Oh, Leakers. Come on now. You were off it for a little while. I haven't been there as much. I, I will admit that. Uh, because it's not just one you jump on. Oh, no? It takes you a little while to get there. Okay. Uh, but I will tell you this, the specials, you want to know? I, let, let me hear them. The specials today, beef and noodles, and they're usually the same on Mondays. Beef and noodles, sounds pretty good, doesn't it? I like beef and noodles. Lasagna. That's what I'm having tonight. And brats and kraut. Brats and kraut. Mm. I like it. I don't mind it. I like sauerkraut. I can't. I, that's a gonna... weird... You wouldn't think I'd like sauerkraut? I wouldn't think you would, no. No, nobody would. It's not something I would say, oh, that's something that you, you're going to go and get. Doesn't make any sense, really. But every once in a while, I like it. We had uh, sauerkraut all the time at home growing apparently up. Apparently Jeff's holding. And Jeff's holding? He must have a bone to pick or something. I, I don't know what it would be. Uh, but here he is. Well, I'm trying to bail you out. I know the show is. I know the show has reached its uh, nadir, its low point. When we're talking about the specials at Leakers, which you have to be embarrassed putting that on the air as often as you do. Do they pay us? Do we get anything out of uh, the weekly beef and noodles mention that you have to get in in the three o'clock hour? Come up with some material every now and then, so we don't have to run down sauerkraut. And yes, I've been driving a while. How's it going, Jeff? You have anything, dude? I don't. What? <laughs> you got anything for him? Because I don't. I I just simply don't care. I think it's fantastic that he's made the effort to call. Where are you, Russell? We're getting there. We're coming. You're only in Russell. Salina. What do you mean I'm only in Russell? Well, you're only in Russell. I mean, get I up early and leave, man. Well, we couldn't, and sitting, my wife's meeting us in Salina. She has this thing called a job, so she couldn't just uh, walk off. And uh, so we got it timed out, so don't you worry. And I'm a little stressed about the game. I kind of want beef and noodles now. I've been driving forever. Well, you must, you must not be that stressed because you're willing to miss a couple games this weekend. You, didn't, you know I didn't know. I didn't think of that. Uh, when tickets well, then you don't think like minutes. a winner, right, Duda? Kinda. I, I, we talked about this, and I was pretty disappointed in the fact that, man, you book it. You know your team's going to be in the playoffs. Why not just book it a month later? Because it's our anniversary, and I thought it would be, I thought it would be the thing that would get me over the hump as far as being able to buy tickets. Say, hey, you can go. We can spend 
weeks. We can spend our anniversary weekend in Las Vegas. And did it work? Yes. Will I also get to watch the games because we're in Pacific time and the games are in Eastern time? Yes. So everything works out. What a romantic uh, anniversary. <laughs> Sorry, honey, I'm going to be watching be. the game. And then I'm going to the concert. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. I'll see you in the morning for breakfast for three days. Just an awful, hey, awfully, how, awful that's thought how out. Works out. That's how it works out. All right, get back to your drive. I'm done. I don't have anything else for you. You got anything yeah, to do? Yeah, I was Denver. I was curious on how Denver, Denver was. Denver, I don't really like Denver, if we're being honest. Uh, it was fine. The concert was fun. Everyone had a good time. Uh, Aaron wants to say something about the concert, too. Oh. I wasn't ready for that one. It was fun. I liked the concert. There you go. It was really fun. All right. Who was the concert? Yeah, who'd you see? It was Alec Benjamin. He's 30 going Ooh. on 15, but we love him anyway. No. <laughs> You, you know what? Beef and noodles is about nine <laughs> times better than whatever this is. Thank you. Why we'll uh, talk to you soon. Life. My God. I, I thought that was awesome. I'd rather dive into a pit of beef and noodles than listen to that. I think it was great stuff. Do you really? Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought it was good that Aaron chimed well, I'm in. I'm glad Aaron chimed in. I think it's fantastic. But Jeff? I think they should call in the next segment, too. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wonderful? Uh, yeah, wh whatever. We'll, we'll look forward to it. Mark Vientos hit a 3-2 pitch out for a grand slam, and the Mets are doing it to the Dodgers, pretty much what the Dodgers did to the Mets yesterday. 6 nothing in favor of the Mets. Uh, the bullpen game not going to work out for the Dodgers. Their lack of uh, starting pitching, I think the Mets will win this series. But we'll see. It's a long way to go. You're going to call that already? Yeah. The, there's something about the Mets. The story has been really good. I will say that. I actually don't mind this Mets team because I really like Francisco Lindor. Well, then there you go. Yeah, there you go. So you're looking for anybody for, who cares. You're looking for Mets Cleveland. Is that what you're telling us? I'm hoping for Cleveland. I don't really care who wins this. Uh, but the Mets, I, I guess I'm, I'm not a Mets fan. Well, I'm not saying you're a Mets fan. There's only four teams left, so you got to pick a couple of them. So Mets I'm, Cleveland would be a nightmare for the, oh, they'd hate it. The TV people. They'd hate it. They're salivating at the Yankees Dodgers. Well, of course they are, but, uh, Mets Cleveland, I'd get a kick out of just for that. Just for that purpose alone. Yeah. All right. Well, Interesting. Uh, so here we are, college football. We've uh, played six weeks. We've, we're halfway through. And what you have right now is Texas pretty much a unanimous number one, although Oregon getting some votes. But Texas, a team I have never been able to trust. It they look like they're trustworthy. Yeah, well, I agree with that because over the last 10, 12 years, it's, I, you never knew who you were going to get coming from them. But I bet you they're loving the fact that they went into Oklahoma and just annihilated them. Well, that was good Scott. played at the, you know, that was played. Or, well, the, yeah, whatever. They played at Oklahoma and annihilated them. That's they all they're did. worried about. Now they have Georgia this week, and uh, we'll learn a lot. They have Georgia, Vanderbilt, Florida, Arkansas, Kentucky, Texas A&M. That's the rest of their schedule. They should be able to navigate that. But Georgia, obviously a test. That one's going to be played in Austin. And that's the game of the week in college football, hands down. As it should be. And that's one of the, we'll be picking a lot of very interesting games this week. There Are is we? no shortage of really good games. None? No. We just talked about them in the NFL. There's three or four uh, that will be very interesting. And that game, certainly in college football, will be fascinating. And there's a, there's a few others. You want to know who? Give me the games. Are you, are let you, me, let are you curious? Give me the games, and I'm kind of curious on who we're going to have to be picking as I stretch my lead out in this little well, adventure. You've got a suddenly interesting game in the Big 12, Arizona State at Cincinnati. I, both of those teams are playing better than we thought they would. You've got Alabama at Tennessee. Tennessee's another team I have trouble trusting. 
and they always seem to let down at the the worst moment. You know what I mean? I do. I uh, do. I, I don't know if I can buy into Tennessee. Uh, and then you've got Georgia, Texas. We just talked about that. And I guess that's about it. College football not as interesting as maybe I was hoping. No, it I didn't think be. there was that many good games this week, but the ones that you're talking about are okay. It'll be yeah, Tennessee's played well, but like you said, can't trust them. But I'm more interested in the Texas game because we'll see exactly where Texas is after playing Georgia. I don't think that's an argument. Kansas State at West Virginia. That's an int- It's always interesting to West go Virginia. there and play. What is it with West Virginia? It's what, just a why? tough place to play. Why is it so difficult, though? Because they bring out the moonshine. and Oh, <laughs> I got to get up there. I got to get up there <laughs> and try A little jab at West Virginia. Uh, but it's just they have a good home crowd, and it's, it's difficult to get to. You got to fly into Pittsburgh and bus over to Morgantown and it's it's just not a it's a tough place to win, always has been. Now and even when they're not great and they're not great, no. But they'll give K State a battle. They give everybody a battle. That's what I was. That's what I'm talking about. I don't I don't get it. But maybe you've cleared it up for me. K State right now three point favorite. Not very many points considering the disparity in records. And I don't know if I could take K State on the road in you that may, game. You may not. Well, I'm telling you, I don't think I can. And West Virginia is not a bad team by any stretch. Uh, so that's a, that's an interesting game. K State with Avery Johnson throwing a late touchdown. Uh, it looked like they weren't going to get that done at Colorado the other night, but they figured it out, got got it done. And DJ Giddens, that guy, he's not a bad, not he a bad. Maybe an All American this year. He's looking pretty good. He's lo- he's looking I'd have really to look good. Look into the running back situation a little bit more. Yeah, cause I I don't know who's who else is out there right now. That's a running back that's been playing as well as he has. But I would have to agree with you in the fact that he's got to be in the conversation right now. He's the fourth leading rusher in Division One. Uh, there's a kid at Boise State who already has 1,200 yards. He's 300 yards ahead of everybody. Caleb Johnson at Iowa, Omarion Hampton at North Carolina, and then DJ Giddens at K State. So he's number four, and I would I would argue that he's the best running back in the country. The kid at Boise State, Ash, Ashton Giante, he's averaging ten yards per carry and already has scored seventeen touchdowns. How are you averaging ten yards per carry? I don't know, man. Like, does any do they not? Is there nobody in the box? Like, what are they? What's the defense is doing? I don't know. That sounds a little goofy to me, doesn't it? Ten it's, per carry after six games. It's uh, bizarre, isn't it? Why don't I know more about this guy? I don't know. I uh, that's a good question. Out of Jacksonville, Florida. Ten yards last last year at thirteen hundred and forty-seven yards. Uh, good year, 14 touchdowns, average 6.1 yards per carry. And this year he's just been unbelievable. That's a ridiculous number for that many games. It's crazy. Like and a Boise game or State's two. not playing all sisters of the poor either. You know what I mean? Well, maybe they are. Maybe that's why. Well, I don't no, know about nothing that. Nothing against Boise State, whoever's out there listening. Let's look at them. They lost. Okay. They played Oregon within three. Well, they that's lost not by bad. three points. They beat Utah State. They beat Hawaii. They beat Washington State. Uh, they're they're three points away from being unbeaten, with their only loss to Oregon. Uh, so they're pretty good. And in that game against Oregon, this young man had 192 yards on 25 carries and three touchdowns. Well, maybe he is. That might little, be your All-American. That, that, that might be your guy all of a sudden. <laughs> That's not bad. See, I did a little research, and well I've, done. I've come up with a, an alternative. Reason, we, we've figured out a reasoning here why. That's pretty good. 
That looks like your first team All American yeah, right now. He's that's still averaging almost eight yards a carry against, against Oregon. Oregon. Against a team that's probably going to be number Their two. Their quarterback in that game was only seventeen for forty. So they had to be focusing completely on this guy, right? Well you'd think. When you're the quarterback, quarterback didn't hurt him. <laughs> what? He was the, 17 the running for back 40. did. So you'd think that after a while you'd have to do something to try to stop him. Well, the running back That's is impressive. what is what uh, Oregon couldn't stop him. That's what I'm saying. That's interesting. Now I know a little bit more. See, and so do you. See, I come here and you learn stuff. <laughs> you don't have to I, argue. You for come two here hours. and I learn stuff. Exactly. Or Look, you come here and you learn. Oh no, no, no! I already knew. You learned stuff. I got you to take a look at that, and all of a sudden, now we found out well, you had all who that the knowledge All-American already. could be. Oh, no, I didn't have it, but I'm allowing you to use it. Thank you. See? You, you see where guy. we're going with this? What oh, a you're, guy. You're welcome. Don't worry about it. Well, I think that's interesting. It is I, interesting. Uh, you know, DJ Giddens was just fab, fantastic against Colorado. He's had uh, a really great season. He's the MVP of that offense. No question. That's uh, by that's, far. That's not a debate. And uh, I really thought, well, there's your All American until we've done a little more research. Well, that's what we do on this show, isn't it? That's what you know. I mean, I'm here to inform and, you and do, entertain. You do a, a heck of a job, Mister Bob. Thank you. You're welcome. I I do appreciate that. This guy's five nine, two hundred and fifteen pounds, a junior. Uh, interesting. He's been at Boise State his entire career. I applaud that. I like Thank that. Thank you. Yes, I do like that. I think that. that's good because I was scared I was going to look up and he was going to be at, well, he came in from Alabama and then we went to. Uh, Tennessee, then yeah. he went to North Dakota and then decided he, to go to Boise. He stuck it out at Boise State. Good for him. Now I even like him even more. Go Man. get him, kid. Go. Go get them, kid. That's what I say. How many people have we turned on to Boise State right now? I mean, our, our at least listening a, audience. At least a couple dozen. <laughs> uh, you'd have to think at least a you, couple. Well, dozen. out of the four or 5,000 that are listening. Right. At least a couple dozen. They're going to tune them in next time they see Boise State because they're going to say, I got to check out this kid. I got to check out this running back. There you go. Who Bob says is going to be the All-American. He's on Looks like he's on pace to be. Well, I can't argue with that point. All right. We uh, will see you all tomorrow. Jeff will be back. We'll have a game, some other things as well. Thanks to uh, Gary Guzman, the head football coach at Mays, for being our guest in hour number one. Thanks to Jason Duda. He'll be back here on Thursday. Have a good night.